G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor, and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. Between us, we'll make you wealthy. Hey guys, welcome to Ask Kevin Young. This episode, we're going to be asking a question about market valuations and how often you should get it done. So this question came from Simon from Victoria. He asked, how often should I have my properties valued? Should I use a valuer, which will cost money, or just get a market valuation? Which is better? So Kev, what should Simon do? Well, let's make Simon a successful Simon, and none of the above Simon, that costs you money. Come to the club and as part of our many, many free services. Yes. It's free today and free forever. So we'll actually work out what the sales are being made up and down the street or in the suburb and let you know. We'll also check what the rents are in the area. And perhaps your managing agent isn't maximising your rents, which doesn't maximise your value. Mm. So we'll do both of those for free. Come and see your mentor and as part of the free club. Just after we started the club, we went into an inquiry into people being ripped off in property. And we put to the government that they should, by law, mandate that real estate agents should give you, the buyer, details of property prices up and down the street in the, in the area you're buying, so you could be an informed purchaser. Well, guess what, Roxy? What? The agents didn't like that at all, the valuers didn't like that at all, and they uh, thumbed it down and never saw the light of day. But inside the club, we do that for you free of charge. So before you buy, we tell you everything that's for sale in the area. Yeah. And also, of course, Rent comparisons is a good judge of value. So we do the rent comparisons for you at all. And Roxy, this should be mandated by law that every buyer has this yes. from the agents. And guess the excuse the agents had for not doing it? What was it? <gasps> Too expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does cost us money, but this is information that you deserve. So how often do you think you should get your property value? Well, the markets can change really quickly. Equally, they can be slow for a couple of years. But when they change, they can change really quickly. So I suggest you do it every six months. So don't pay a valuer, um, don't pay a bank to go and do it. Come to us and we'll do it for you free of charge and we'll give you all the direct comparisons. Because um, the, the comparisons are very difficult because we uh, stipulate solid construction, mm -hmm. not places that burn down like Renfield in the UK. Yeah. Um, and a valuer can compare that sort of construction, which is expensive, with a lightweight construction next door, for instance, which is a lot cheaper to make. Whereas we'll do the right comparison for you, so we're comparing apples with apples, which is very important. If they suddenly take off, you need to know. Mm -hmm. And what's the reason you need to know? So that you know how much equity you've got. And then you can do something with the equity. Yes. So doing it every six months means you can maximise your wealth. Awesome. Thanks for that, Kevin. If you guys like this episode, make sure you share it with your friends and make sure you get your property valued through us.